Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, today, Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, and we're covering the cases here, including recently a number of cases about uh, Venezuela, uh, the conviction of Carlos Orense, the pre-trial proceedings of uh, Hugo Carvajal, uh, El Pollo, but we have an update from elsewhere in the U.S. judicial system, and it's, to me, a kind of lawless one. Alex Saab, now there's a lot of controversy whether he should have been arrested, but he was arrested. He was reputed to be a money launderer for the uh, Maduro regime. And he's been in jail, but he's out. He's out and the White House won't say anything because they've made yet another one of them. As with uh, the famous Victor Boot and others, they've made a deal. They've made a deal to release Alex Saab in exchange for apparently 10 Americans held in Venezuela. And although I'm sure the 10 families are happy, and I don't mean to be heartless, I think it's, it's, it's crazy because Carlos Lorenzo is, for example, and I'm not, I watched his whole trial. He's kind of a large gentleman. They call him El Gordo. But like, what is he, chopped liver? Is El Gordo chopped liver? Why aren't they trading him? So it makes, it casts a pall of lawlessness over all of these proceedings because it basically means, let me give you another example. There's a guy called uh, Cholo Abdullah. He's a Somali accused of it's terrorism charges, admittedly. Anyway, he's in the MDC in a, in a largely empty unit with only a Joshua Shelty who leaked to WikiLeaks, return to that in a moment, um, and he's facing trial and probably life in prison, and probably with uh, Saipov out in Colorado playing soccer alone. But why can't he be traded? Well, I guess Somali didn't grab enough Americans. So basically you're creating an incentive. If you want your guy back from the U.S. judicial system, grab some people, and then let's make a deal. So. I don't know. We cover the cases, but it's it, when, 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 when somebody pulls the Trump card like that, and I use that phrase advisedly. Now, the other case is Julian Assange's case. The visitors to his redoubt there in the Ecuador mission, they, their case survives. Two counts were dismissed, apparently. One survives, that the searching of their phones. And so the case goes on. You can find it exclusively. I don't know. We wrote it first on Intercity Press. The UN, of course, is a joke on all this. We've asked them about Orense. We've asked the United Nations about um, uh, El Pollo because it goes to the legitimacy of a number of governments represented therein. No answer from Antonio Guterres. Probably, is he a recipient of, of El Pollo's money? I don't know. I know that he took Gulbenkian money, which was bid on by the China Energy Fund Committee, but um, no answers from the UN. The UN totally corrupt. The pinnacle so-called, of the international law system, bans the press that asks about bribes. I mean, it, everybody's taking them, but she can't even take a question about it. it makes you a dictator. Okay, inner city press. We won't cease, though. We have applied to re-enter the UN, and for now, we're entering the SDNY. To be continued.